Hey everybody, it's still Saturday, so happy Saturday. I'm gonna attempt popping this popcorn again, and from what I've been reading, the easiest way to get the kernels off is to twist it, and I forget what else I read. But I'll have to look into that some more. Some of these, it's probably gonna be a little difficult to get off. So I brought a couple different things. That doesn't work. It was just a little, what, trivet, rubber thing, whatever it's called. No, this one isn't working. There we go. I'm not gonna get a lot, just enough to see if it's gonna pop. But yeah, twisting it seems to work. Does the towel work better? Maybe, maybe save my hands a little bit. Eh, not really. And I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna try and pop it on the stove top. Just put a little bit of oil in the pot. So I'll struggle with this for a while and then I will take you over to the stove. But this is glass gem corn. Uh, it's been off of the stock for a couple weeks now. I left it on the stock as long as I could, but I wanted to clean up. I didn't want anything getting any ideas and trying to eat my popcorn. And it's really pretty colors. This is a nice one, it still has some of the little hairs on there. It's okay, but see, pretty cool looking. And I didn't have it in like the most ideal conditions where I had planted it, oops. So next year, it'll be better for sure. Oh, that got a lot off, that was cool. I'm sure it probably has something to do with how dry it is too. So, there we go. That's probably pretty good. So let's go over to the stove. So I have just enough oil in there to coat the bottom of the pan. I'll leave it on like a low heat start because I don't know. I'm not experienced in the popcorn popping area. But yeah. We'll see how this goes. There we go. Popcorn is in there. The pot is warming up. Let's put the lid on so we don't have any escapees. And I'll give it a couple minutes and we'll see how it goes. We have some movement in there. I hear some popping. Can I safely open the lid and show you? I don't know. I'll find out. Whoa. Yeah, let's keep that closed. <laughs> oh, my helper came to see. Hi, helper. You want more? Give it a little shake. I'm gonna take a little peek. Oh. oh, maybe let's turn that down. Smells really good. That was from the what, condensation, whatever, the water dropping down. They look like they got a little bigger. But looks like this might be another fail. Okay, that was a fail. 
Let's turn this back on, clean out the stuff that I uh, burned. Let's warm up the oil first before I dump all that in there. It's still pretty hot because I just took it out. But there we go. Look at how pretty. Nice, pretty little colors. So I'll give it a minute to warm up. It's actually probably already warm. But I also don't want to burn the oil. And still there's just enough to coat the bottom of the pan. It's probably good. There we go. Should probably cover that. I feel like shaking it helps. Makes me feel better about it anyways. And then we'll leave that. And hopefully we get some good popcorn. If not, I'm not giving up. I'm still gonna grow this popcorn again, or glass gem corn. You can use it as flour, corn flour. And I'll make something else out of it after I grind it up. So not a total waste. I'm not too bummed about it. Because I am still learning. So that's cool. We'll give that a couple minutes. We have popcorn! I'm so excited. Look at that. I would open the lid, but... Just kidding, I kind of want to open the lid. Whoa, just kidding. Look at it popping. So exciting. So yeah, definitely let the oil heat up first. It's probably where I messed up most at. Let's not do that again. Yay! See it popping? That's exciting. I grew this. It's organic. Glass gem corn and it's popping. So definitely now I'm going to make an even bigger spot for it next year. Can we look? Oh. I think it might be done. Oh, nope. I don't want to burn it. Oh, that's super cool. Should we look now? Whoa. Look at that. Let's just keep that closed for a minute. I want to give all the little kernels a chance. But wow, much better heating up the oil first. Okay, here's the moment we have all been waiting for. Was it a fail or was it a success? It was a success! Yay! Look at my popcorn! Yeah, there are a bunch of kernels in there that didn't pop, but they look crunchy. Still gonna eat them. But look at that. Oh yeah. I just put a little bit of salt on them. Mm -hmm. It's good. So, glass gem corn. This is probably a horrible example of what they look like. There, maybe double the size. They're supposed to be a lot bigger. I didn't plan enough together, but that's okay. This is like test year, and there's so many different kinds of colors. Look at all those different colors. Some of these I should probably save so I can plant them next year. I'll save the biggest kernels. But yeah, look at all that. That's awesome. You can tell I've tried it a bunch of times because some of these are really missing a lot of kernels. I also gave a bag of it to my mom already. So we'll probably try popping that maybe next week when I go over there. So there's that. It tastes really good. It's way better than anything that you're gonna buy in the store. And it's organic. It's glass gem corn. I didn't really do much to the soil. Just use good soil. I think Kellogg, 
something. It's like a white, red, and black package. I forget exactly what kind, but I had put that on top in the bed, so it grew wonderfully. Just next year, I know I need to make a much bigger area for it, because besides just eating popcorn, I'm gonna use it for a flower, and whatever I make with it, I'll show you guys so you could see, but definitely delicious. I'm gonna enjoy this, and then I kinda wanna look up how to make caramel corn. I love caramel corn. So thank you guys very much for watching. I'm glad it wasn't a big fail this time and there was some success in there. Definitely heat your oil first. That seems to be what really messed me up because I put it all in there before it was warm or hot, whatever. So do that. And I just used enough to coat the bottom of the pan. And yeah, much bigger success rate this time. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.